happy Friday evening. It's Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. I spent the entire day anchored to my computer. It is now 6.09 p.m. We are at the airport in long-term parking for the shortest trip of the summer. We are leaving tonight, Friday night, to go to Fairbanks, and we're coming home Sunday night. I'm really excited. This is gonna be a really fun trip. I'm so excited. We're going to a place called the Library Bar. I don't know what to expect from this place, but the cocktail menu looks and sounds spectacular, so I'm really excited about it. Usually, when we come to the airport, we have been parking in short-term parking, which is right over here, and we just walk right in and basically go in the basement and go up into the airport, but this time we parked in long-term parking. So Adam and Sherry have told me that we're going to walk through the prettiest hallway at the Alaska airport, which is kind of exciting. Apparently the train does or used to do pickups here. Grandview Cruise Train is a chartered service and is the only train departing from the Bill Sheffield Depot at the Ted Stevens Anchorage International Airport. But I have no idea if this is like accurate or not. This says mid May to mid September, but it might be a not during COVID kind of thing. But the train depot is up there. I'm guessing this is the hallway that they wanted to show me. Ooh, I love little museum exhibits like this. <gasps> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I love it. I'm seriously hoping that TSA goes much better today than it did a week ago because last week, wild. What an experience. We made it. Was it better? I don't know that it was better because I had to take my boots off. Why do I have to pre-check if I have to take my boots off? All right, we're back in the lounge. Hopefully for a more relaxing experience this time. I think my favorite thing about the Alaska Lounge is the coffee machine. You have to push like a couple buttons and a latte comes out. <laughs> it's my favorite thing, it's so fast. I love it. Thank you for taking me in there. I'm really appreciative. You're welcome. Grateful. Cool shirt. Thanks. Cool mask. Thanks. Did you match on purpose? No. Oh. <laughs> no, didn't even just realize it. you just said that actually. Whoops. Oh. Popcorn. I don't need it, but I want it so bad. <laughs> and on to the plane we go. Jump. Don't stop. So I'm on the plane, and Adam and Sherry are right there. So far, I'm alone, and I brought a coloring book. Well, a few coloring pages, which are in here, and my cup of coffee. And I have a huge window, which is really nice. But since I'm between a book, between books right now, I brought some coloring pages to do while I'm on the plane. in Fairbanks and I just got hooked by a stranger twice because that's what happens when you travel without him because he knows people everywhere. Apparently it's a thing in Alaska airports to hang a plane inside the airport. At least it's a cool plane but look at the wheels like <laughs> they're so little. Well it was a close thing. We almost didn't get our bags but we did get our bags and we're also going to get 2,500 bonus miles because Alaska Airlines guarantees your bags in 20 minutes or less. I'm in love with this truck. I'm in love with this truck. Paw prints and then it says, I love my dogs. Yeah, me too, buddy. They're actually dogs 
in the car. There's two of, at least two of them in here, and they're so beautiful. They have like blue eyes, and they know it too. They know they're beautiful. I knit so I don't kill people. Alaska life is the good life. This is so cool. I want my car to look like this. Can I get glitter paw prints? Oh my gosh. Hi, there's three dogs in here. Hello. Hi. You're so pretty. Yeah. Hi. Okay, thank you Jessica and Lance Violet for letting us borrow your car. Adam keeps telling me I need to look in the back seat. I'm not sure what's in here. I haven't looked yet. <gasps> Cheese balls. She does love me. <laughs> Wow, that's love. That's that's love right there. Thanks to my many, many Hilton points, we're staying at a Hampton Inn tonight and tomorrow night, and we have separate rooms. Woohoo! But near, so we're gonna knock on the. Yeah, but I don't have to listen to him snore. I don't have to listen to her snore. <laughs> Apologize. I Say you're sorry. You don't snore much. It's fine. <laughs> I love the bench, but I love the bear even more. All right, we have made it into our hotel rooms. I'm in mine. Adam and Sherry are just behind this wall. And like I do in, like every time I check into a hotel room, I like to go around and make sure all of the light switches work. And like I get hot water and I have soap. I wanna make sure I have towels and that. The toilet flushes, I test out all of the lights, and then I always plug in like my devices to make sure that they're charging. This one is, and my watch is also charging. Just because those are the things that are necessary to me in a hotel room. There's nothing you can do about the comfort of the bed. Actually, this one's not so bad. Um, also, this chair over here, I love this chair it's wide and like short and i think it would be a really comfy cozy like reading chair we're not gonna have much time for reading on this trip but maybe i'll do some reading in that chair tonight just because it got me really excited about it so um right across the road from our hotel is the only sonic in fairbanks there's one here it's really new it's really pretty small um, there's only like six or seven like drive-in places, but I think right now it's just drive-through, which is kind of cool. I might be wrong on that. That's just what it looked like when we were, when we drove by. But we were talking about maybe going over there to Sonic tonight. Okay, we're back outside. We're going to Sonic, and it just hit me right before we got on the elevator. They're excited about Sonic because Anchorage doesn't have one yet. Yeah. Right? Wasilla has one. Fairbanks just got one, what, last summer? This summer? Recently. Very, very recently. And Anchorage is next, right? Because they're building it. Yep. You know but Anchorage it. doesn't have one yet. Yep. So they're excited about it. <laughs> so we're going to Sonic before it closes at 11 in 40 minutes. Alright, Adam is in the car vlogging and we're here at Sonic. This is it right here. And there are there's no like drive in on this side. It's just parking. I've never seen. I don't think I've ever seen a Sonic with dine in seating. But there's dine in in the Sonic and the drive ins are over there, but we're in the drive through cuz that's all that's open right now. We're back. I got a mini Butterfinger Sonic Blast and we have a sack full of food. And I think we ought to just sit in the lobby and eat because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have our treasure hoard. <laughs> Reese's Sonic Blast. This is a, that's the cookie dough blast. Yep. And this is the, no, this is Butterfinger, that's Reese's. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And then onion rings. Mozzarella sticks, because we have to prove, I have to prove to them that Arby's is better than Sonic. And you can only do that by trying them both. It's so. science. Yes, it is science. We have to try the Sonic ones. <laughs> Onion rings, a plain cheeseburger. It's bread, meat, and cheese. I, I'm judging you. I, I don't know why. I don't do this at any other restaurant ever. But there's something about Sonic to me that their plain burger is so good. It's how I like it. I don't judge away. It's fine. And then a chicken slinger. Slinger. 
Just slinger. 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 <laughs> and also, Disney Channel is on the TV here in the, like, this is like the breakfast area. And I kind of love that they have basically native stuff or, you know, fake native stuff. You know what I mean? And salmon. That's cool. Door is locked. It is time for bed. I'm really tired. Today was a really long day of homework. And my brain feels like pudding. Um, the ice cream made me feel a whole lot better. But I'm going to put on my pajamas and I'm going to go to sleep. And then tomorrow is an entirely new day. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to do some more stuff in Fairbanks. I did get to come here to Fairbanks last summer, but we didn't spend much time here. We stayed one night. I think one night, maybe two nights. I don't remember last summer. I want to say it was one night though. And you know, we didn't do anything up here because we were basically just making a huge loop through Fairbanks and then back down to Anchorage in the RV. And that was fun, but I'm excited to be back here in Fairbanks and explore some more. So more tomorrow and I'm just going to continue. It's going to be the same video. You, you'll get to see that in just a second, uh, but I'm going to go to bed. I guess it's a crazy hair day. I'm not sure what's happening over here. Um, good morning. I am ready for the day. It is 8.30, like exactly 8.30. So I'm gonna go down and go to breakfast. We're not planning to leave for last night. We decided we weren't gonna leave until 9.30 um, cause it was a late night. We wanted to get up, give everybody a chance to sleep. So I'm ready. I'm gonna go down and get some breakfast because we're staying at a Hampton Inn. So we have access to continental breakfast here which is really nice. So I'm gonna go down and drink my weight in coffee and maybe find, I don't know, toast or an English muffin or a bagel or yogurt or something. I don't know, I'm gonna go check it out and see what's down there. Our first stop this morning is the Museum of the North, which is behind me. We are here on the Alaska, or, I'm sorry, University of Alaska Fairbanks campus because that is where this museum is located. It's kind of a funky building. I want to walk down to the sign so you can see it. It's actually really interesting and there's a whale skull over here that I want to show you too. So let me flip you around. That's the whale skull. And this is what the museum looks like. The sign is back that way. There's actually, it's a really pretty view that way. I'm gonna take you down that way just a little bit. Looks like there's a greenhouse right there. Now something I noticed when we were in Barrow last weekend is Barrow is extremely flat, like very, very, very flat. Fairbanks is flat, but not, like it's got rolling hills, okay? So you can see like there's hills that way, lumps if you will, but it's, you know, it's pretty flat here. Not as flat as Barrow though. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. I think it's a really interesting looking building. I don't know what it's gonna look like inside, but I'm actually really, really excited for it. I'm really excited. Once again, we're traveling on the weekend. So today is Saturday, and I guess Monday through Friday, they have a summer shuttle tour that's free to explore the uh, campus. But since we're here on Saturday, we can't do that. Also, the bookstore is closed on the weekend, which is sad. This is one of my favorite things to do is to visit like universities when I'm traveling and to go to their bookstores, but this one's closed. So I guess we'll just go in to the museum. I gotta catch up. Adam and Sherry are inside already. First thing you see in the museum is a dinosaur, like mural. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. Ooh, please touch. I almost never see that. This is a toe bone. Okay, here's my hand. My toes are smaller than my hand. That's gigantic. And it's only 69 million years old. <laughs> I 
Well, that's sad. <laughs> Alright, that's not a dinosaur. That is a whale. But I think this is actually like a bowhead skeleton. Look at it. Wow. I've never even like thought about what the bones in their fins look like, but they look like hands. <laughs> We've been given maps. This is the lower level. And then the upper level is on the other side. This is Expedition Alaska in the collections gallery. So it's this weird fin over here. There, still. I can't get enough of looking at the whale. <laughs> I love this. That is so cool. Before I get too far into the museum, I do wanna say we've been given permission to film in here as long as we don't use flash. And of course I don't use flash when I'm filming. So we are allowed to film in here. So I'm planning to film a bunch of it. We are doing a like film. What's the film about? It's about the Northern Lights. Northern Lights, ooh. Mm -hmm. So we're learning all about alpine adapted mammals. Um, this is a marmot, but this one right here is called a collared pika. And I love how everything about the pika right here is about their poop and how they eat their poop. You poor thing. I hope you have a personality too. Apparently pikas are also like common thieves and they will steal each other's food. That's rude. So now we're learning about marmots. The hoary marmot and the Alaska marmot. Now the hoary marmot is the one that's down here in this area of Alaska. But apparently, black bears, porcupines, red fox, and fox sparrows visit marmot burrows for reasons we have yet to fully understand. I wonder if they're going over for dinner. So apparently I was meant to question why the building looks like this from the outside. Apparently they th did that on purpose, which I think is really, really cool. So they talked about the expansion here. And then they've got photographs of the interior of the place. But what I think is interesting is the public areas have curved sloping walls and few right angles. And it's true. I don't, like there's not very many doorways or square, like that one there. This one's not, like right angles, not very many of them. All right, now we're back in the gallery of Alaska, or I'm about to go in. Um, a little bit breathless already, just because he's really tall. Look at, not Adam, but the bear. Oh my goodness. That is very cool. They kind of have it divided up by areas of the state. I think Southwest, Western Arctic Coast, South Central. I really like that they give you an overview of what the Southeast Alaska area is and what's what it's made up of. Apparently 12% of Alaska's people live just in Southeast Alaska. We've got Raven here, Bald Eagle there. And I like that they're talking about interactions with native cultures. So down here, I guess is mainly Tlingit tribe with these others, but in very small areas. So I, I appreciate that. I think that's interesting. These are salmon, and I'm assuming the other side will tell me which kind of salmon, but 
Why does this guy look like he wants to eat me? Yikes. I know a lot of people really like looking at things like totem poles like this, but I love looking at things that they used every day. Cooking tools and things that they used for cutting up food or eating or cooking. I love these spoons and I love the like the food tray. It's like a bowl that they would serve food in. I also love looking at their handmade baskets. They're so intricate. Like the stitching on this tiny one here is incredible. That must have taken forever. Okay, this looks like a jewelry case, but it's actually just talking about gemstones. Not for sale, just to look at. Some of them are cut, I think probably, so we can see what they're supposed to look like. But then some of them, like these two over here, are left uncut. And I think they're just as pretty raw like that. Okay, the mink whale. And the skull is right up here. And compared with the one out in the lobby, it's definitely smaller. This is cool. Look at the malachite. That's so pretty. Alright, South Central Alaska. This is Anchorage here with a yellow dot. And you've got Valdez, Wasilla. The conservation center is over here. Hope is in here. And then Homer, Seward. So this is a huge portion of Alaska. I find it really interesting that almost every museum we've been to in Alaska talks about Russian occupation of Alaska. And I guess they've really left a lot of like remaining influences here. Not just artifacts to be Put in museums but i guess you know really left some cultural influence as well I think it's important that you know that this is a tooth. These are mammoth teeth. I did. Teeth. <clears throat> Next is interior Alaska. The yellow dot. This Fairbanks, that's where we are right now. So this is a lynx. I can't get over the feet. They're huge, gigantic feet. Itty bitty tail and a super cute face. This is a flying squirrel, and I can't help but think it looks like he's just wearing a poncho. <laughs> like everywhere he goes, I'm just wearing my poncho. <laughs> now we're getting into the really, really shiny stuff with like gold nuggets. And some of them are gigantic, and some of them are really fine like dust. Our movie starts in 10 minutes because we have the 11 o'clock showing, so we need to leave the museum. We'll come back and finish it after the movie. But I'm excited because I haven't actually seen the Northern Lights. Kind of got to see them last year, kind of, very, very faintly. I wonder how much of it was my imagination. Okay, the movie about the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, was amazing, very fascinating, very interesting. Adam and Sherry lied to me. They said, you can hear it. The guy in the movie was like, you can't hear it. It's 60 miles above the earth. Of course you can't hear it. 
But now we're back in the museum. We're gonna finish this. Next is the Western Arctic coast with fishing traps. Ooh. Oh. Hi guys. This is a gray whale skull. It says the bowhead whale skull has been removed. Gray whales are smaller. I'm gonna guess this is a modern harpoon, yeah? Apparently this is an Alaska exclusive dinosaur. Where can I get the t-shirt? With things like caribou and moose to look at all the time, I always forget about dinosaurs. I don't know what that says about me as a person. Maybe that I don't care about dinosaurs, but you know, they were here first. They're gone now. And now we have things like that to look at. I love looking at stuff like this. This is a walrus tusk that has been carved. I love the little birds. These are also made out of walrus tusk. All right, the museum was getting a little bit crowded for my taste, so I came out here and I saw this and I was like, what is that? It looks shiny like copper. It's because it is copper. This is a gigantic copper nugget, discovered 1936. That's huge. Going up, 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 next to the whale. Because, and I'm taking the stairs because I want to take pictures out the windows. And there's people sitting in the windows downstairs. Really kind of icky today. But that's the greenhouse right there. All right, so the place Adam really wanted to go was the place you go to listen, but it is currently closed for maintenance. So I think we're just gonna go into the Roseberry Alaska Art Gallery, which I find you know, very interesting. I love looking at art. I'm just gonna say what needs to be said right now. If you ever go to Fairbanks, 
go to the Alaska Museum. Go to the Museum of the North. It's absolutely necessary. It's amazing. It's only $16 for adult admission. Necessary. Do it. Just do it. Just come here. Just do it. All right, we're done in there. But I want to show you this one more time. I love the little hip bones. I don't know why, but they tickle me. This is so cool. Sherry found the stickers. And they have this one, which is like the bowhead whale. Like the skeleton that's hanging in the ceiling. And I think this one needs to come home with me. And probably some other ones too. Probably. So, found a couple stickers. Found a postcard for 25 cents. They also have like carved walrus ivory and they've got tons of things to choose from like you could get a couple of teeny tiny little puffins if you really wanted to okay adam and i are brewery people so we have decided to come to a brewery for lunch today it's called Hoodoo Brewing Company. They are tapping a German Kolsch that's been co conditioned with Alaska wild blueberries. And I'm really, really excited about it. Also the food truck here, since it's a brewery, they have a food truck, is called Blue Flame Street Side. I'm so excited about it. I love these stools. They look really cool. Okay, we got our flights, and just as she was giving it to me, I noticed that this tap handle is Han Solo. Okay, the beer has been excellent so far. This is the Goza, and I'm saving that for last because I had a taste of it, just a little sip, and it's so good. But this one on the end is the 2149 Belgian Triple, and I love it too. So, I'm trying to make these last through lunch which is a cheeseburger for me, a Reuben for Adam, and a chicken burger for Sherry. All right, we left the brewery, we had lunch. Now, we're trying to find something else to do because it's raining, and so we came to a bookstore, Forget Me Not Books, and I, Adam saw the bike rack that spells out books. It's so cute. They have t-shirts and discounts when you wear the t-shirt. I love it. Thank you. Okay, the prices in that bookstore were fantastic. I walked out without buying anything, but Adam and Sherry got five books for $8. Yeah. Felt like we were stealing from her just because that's really, really cheap. But now we are at a place called Pioneer Park which I think they said used to be called Alaska Land. I guess it's like a public park run by the city, so there's no admission fee. You just walk in sort of like a city park. And I guess they do have like a gift shop here. So I'm excited to check this out because this is another thing we didn't get to do when we were here last summer. There are a ton of cars and RVs in the parking lot out here, but that just makes me think that this is a popular place. Adam just asked me if it felt like a theme park entrance, and yeah, it kind of does, except there's no security check, no like $200 admission fee. Kind of feels like a theme park. I love that they've got a map right here. Maps of anything make me so happy. I love this. So the first thing you see when you come in, that's the entrance over there. This is the Harding Railroad car named for President Harding that came to drive the Golden Spike into the railroad. Um, something I'm noticing is the stained glass in the train car feels a little extra fancy, but I kind of love it. And it is career day today, so there's all kinds of tents behind the steam boat. This is so exciting. I came to the back of the train and there's a really weird entrance back here. I'm not sure what's in here. But in here is like a bunk room with a pull down bunk shelves. And then behind this door, forgive the creak, 
This is actually like a restroom, bathroom kind of thing with the sink and stained glass window. Somehow I find that funny. So this is like interesting miles distance to the sun. Okay. So Adam just told me what this actually is. This is like they these are original buildings from Fairbanks in like the early 1900s, late 1800s. Like this cabin over here was built in 1908. And so I guess they moved them all here into the park and you can apply for a permit to run a shop out of one of these cabins. Like there's a jewelry shop in well, this one, Charms by CJ, that's the jewelry shop. And then the barn back there is like a concession stand sort of. They sell bottled water in there. It doesn't look like there's anything in this one. And this one runs a shop called Oh So Wonderful. The Little Willow Beaded Art Baskets Alaskan Made Gifts. This one was a hotel and bathhouse. Okay, I just got to pet a Great Dane for an extended period of time. You can see him right back there. His name is Buddy. He was really, really sweet. That was delightful. I really miss my dogs, especially now after that, but that was really, really nice. We we're making our way out of Pioneer Park and I had a really good time here because I got to pet a dog. <laughs> I don't know that I would come back here if I came back to Fairbanks, but I think if you had kids, this is the place to go if you have kids. Like skip the museum, come here instead. This is really interactive for kids. Even on a rainy day, there's a ton of people here. They've got mini golf. Adam says they might have a train. There's like a merry-go-round over here. There's all kinds of fun stuff for kids. So I would say this is really kid friendly. We have come to Ursa Major, which is a distillery here in Fairbanks. And I'm really excited because I think they have gin, rum, vodka that they make here. And this is their tap room. I did not vlog inside like Adam did. We each had two drinks. I had the gin basil smash and then I had their summer special, which was a summer time gin gimlet and both of them were fantastic sherry had a cosmopolitan and a mai tai and adam had a mojito and a bush pilot which yours was gin and they were all so good now i want to put basil and thyme in every cocktail <laughs> that i ever have with gin just because that was so good and we met some really really cool nice people up in here that like own places around here and they were telling us about like where to find moose and where to buy these spirits in bottles at a cheaper price than they sell them for here fascinating they were really nice so i didn't vlog in there adam did but now we're going to dinner at a place called the library all right so this red building over here is the library bar and bites i yeah i don't know what to say or think yet so i will withhold judgment until we go inside so there's like cartoons that look sort of like ninja turtles but not ninja turtles they're like ninja teenage mutant ninja bears oh my gosh fighters of grime i can't okay and the door looks really cool okay 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 inside this place is nothing like what i expected when adam made the reservation they he said that he was going to put us on the mezzanine level and we're literally two steps up from the main level <laughs> which does not 
bring to mind like mezzanine? Technically. I mean, we're higher. Okay. Um, the menu is fantastic though. Like the house cocktails look and sound delightful. They're more expensive than the place where we just were, but these have really honey names. <laughs> Gulp Ivers Trout. Tequila Mockingbird. And also, they do have some books in here. And yeah, not many, but they do have some. So I guess you could count this place as a library, maybe. <laughs> and it smells like Brussels sprouts, which kind of gets me excited for the food because I kind of love the way it smells in here. <laughs> you are? Not at all? Maybe who hasn't had them the right way? I've never, I've never had them like that. We've got the chicken pesto. Also, I just want to say I appreciate Lance so much. He goes married to somebody who does YouTube because he like went in for food and. <laughs> so we are at Black Spruce Brewing Company. Um, we just left the library, which is not actually like a restaurant. It's more like a bar with shareable bites. We had um, some snacks and drinks with Jessica and Lance Violet, and I will link Jessica's channel below if you don't already watch her. She's a, they're really good people. They're really, really great people. This is where we are now, just because it is 7.30 and we don't have anything else to do tonight. It's Saturday night, I don't know what we do. It's after church. It feels really early to be turning into a hotel, so I suggested another brewery, so I think we're just gonna maybe have more drinks. There's also a food truck here called Two Cheese, Tuesdays Munchies. So we'll see what happens, but I think we're gonna have a couple of drinks here maybe, and then maybe make our way back to the hotel and just have an early night, yeah? Nope, we're going dancing. We're going partying and dancing. That does not sound like fun at all. One of my favorite things at breweries is when they have sticker walls like this, like, look at that one. But also, I mean, same. I break for pie. <laughs> I love the walrus tusk for me. <laughs> This is so great. And then, what's that? What is that? All right, it's a flight for me, for Adam, and for Sherry. Like, who are we? <laughs> we shut the place down. The guy came out with a gong at like 7.45 to tell us that it was last call, and it is now 8.15. <laughs> Hi there. Not gonna lie. It is late, it is also now Sunday morning, and this clock over here says 1.06 a.m. because it is one o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm not sure what the last thing you saw is. I think you got to see our flights at Black Spruce, but let me rewind a little bit to the library. We went to the library bar, I think it's called the Library Bar and Bites, for like drinks and like appetizers, basically for dinner. Um, we met Jessica and Lance Violet there, and it was really nice. Um, the drinks were good, uh, but they took our menus away, so we never got to like see the menu again to order like a second round. You know what I mean? So um, it was okay. They don't have like meals; they have soup, salad, and then shareable items. Um, but it was nice. It was a lot of fun to get to you know talk to them, and then afterwards. Um, we really didn't have anything planned and it was like seven o'clock when they kicked us out because we had a reservation That was just a two-hour window so seven o'clock when they kicked us out and We ended up going to another brewery called black spruce brewing and We found you know some really cool beers on the menu and we ended up all doing flights And it was really nice. It was a really relaxing day after black spruce. We went out to Jessica and Lance's house and we had like a little um, fire pit time and that was really cool. We didn't come home and we're back to the hotel until like 11.30 and then I sat down and I finished reading a book on my phone because that's how I'm traveling this time. I did bring one book with me and like coloring pages but i've been reading this book on my phone for months and i wanted to get it done and now it's done and that makes me feel better um and now it's one o'clock in the morning i just brushed my teeth and it's late and i'm tired so i'm going to end this you know first part 
of the Fairbanks vlog here. Um, and the next vlog will be tomorrow, Sunday. Well, I guess that's today. Um, the next vlog will be going out to the, the China Hot Springs area and doing the Ice Museum. And I'm really excited about it, but that'll be tomorrow or later today, but that'll be in the next vlog. So you guys will see that and me in the next video.